Do you guys remember Omarion's 2005 Touch music video and that iconic dance scene with him and the love interest? You either wanted to be her or know who she is. Well, that dancer is Danielle Polanco. And a lot of people don't know that she's had a pretty long career in entertainment and also has an impressive dance resume. Danielle has worked with most of the elite pop singers over the course of her 20 year career. You guys may remember that I covered the story about the living single dancer Big Les, which is a video I highly recommend. Now this video is the untold truth about Danielle Polanco. Danielle Polanco was born on October 18, 1985 in the Bronx borough of New York City to Dominican and Puerto Rican parents. Her training in dance started when she was just four years old. In middle school, she acquired training in ballet and jazz, then joined Kipps Bay Boys and Girls Club, where she learned other dance styles like hip hop, salsa, and samba. She was also a dancer for K Company, for two summers, Danielle attended Ballet Hispanico in Manhattan, where she developed skills in more Hispanic and Latin dance styles. In high school, she trained at Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater, as well as outside classes at other dance centers. In 2003, at the age of 17, Danielle booked her first professional job with Beyonce. She performed as a backup dancer for the singer's MTV Video Music Awards performance at Radio City Music Hall on August 28, 2003. Around this time, she got into the underground ballroom scene where she learned and started voguing. For the next year and a half, Danielle regularly appeared in music videos as a backup dancer. She appeared in music videos like Tony Touches DeMillo, Meant to Be's What's Up What's Up, MVP's Rock Your Body, Young Guns Friday Night, and A. Marie's One Thing and Touch music videos, among others. Then in early 2005, Danielle booked her breakout gig. We know each other for some time. You cannot lose. Just let it touch the top. Oh, baby, by the way. Tell me no. Tell me no one won't. I see you again. Not only was she hired to dance in Omarion's video for his debut single, Touch, she also played the lead in Lady and Love Interest. The video was one of the most requested music videos on video countdown shows like 106 and Park and TRL, and it went on to become Omarion's most popular music video. Got me a nice little young lady over there, I think you're gonna get that. Boom. She looking away right now, we gonna keep her mysterious. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna follow him. You're gonna follow him. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, you have to keep going away. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's go. Cameras, clear back. This team right here, he's trying to get this girl attention with his movement. As you can see, she wasn't paying any attention to him, so as he's dancing toward her, she looked back and she noticed his moves right but um the surface is kind of wet right now so he's kind of slipping kind of slippery so he's making it happen with slides and glides so he gotta move in a smooth way i'm danielle polanco i'm from the bx i'm playing his love interest um he's really feeling me and i'm feeling him but at the same time i try to keep it on, on the low because all my friends are like what's wrong with you like and i'm like no uh i want to take you home tonight <laughs> Now dance moves off the hood. That's cute because Omarion really knows how to dance, so I didn't have to hold back. Because I hate holding back for an artist, so he could really dance, so I was happy about that. He's dope. <laughs> Beautiful, got it? 
she's like really like one of the dopest female dancers I've seen. Jamaica also choreographed for Aim Marie, so I did the Aim Marie video. I'm dancing for her now. She's an audition, 19 year old. Just had this epic fest that everybody didn't have. You know that new talent, not trained. Everything in her soul, just natural. She knew, you know, this girl from New York. After they told me they were looking for a girl who can, like, be the lead girl, look 19, and hang with Amari, I was like, I got this girl. She really liked the way I danced. Brought her down. She's a great dancer. Um, we really, really hit it off well. So when I saw her bust, I was like, yeah, she gets with it. She can make her body play. She can also do my choreography in a little bit. Yeah, her hips don't look like it's coming out of socket. Danielle joined him on stage for a performance of the song at the 2005 BET Awards on July 28th. Hey, oh man, you need to go holler at that man for real. Go! She also appeared in the music video for Amarion's other single, I'm Trana. But this time she did not dance and only played the role of his girlfriend. That summer, she joined him on the Scream Tour 5, which also featured Bow Wow, Marcus Houston, B5, Pretty Ricky, and Bobby Valentino. In other words, all the heartthrobs of 2005. Later that year, Danielle worked with Beyonce for the second time for her Check On It music video. This led to her becoming one of Beyonce's principal dancers during the singer's B-Day album era, appearing in the music videos for Freak em Dress, Get Me Bodied, which she also helped choreograph, and Sugar Mama, another one she also choreographed. In 2006, Danielle appeared as a dancer in the musical film Idol Wild, starring the hip hop duo Outkast. She worked with Janet Jackson for the first time that year as a dancer and choreographer for her song So Excited featuring Kaya. <laughs> also marked her first time working with Jennifer Lopez, but this would not be the last time she worked with both artists. Danielle danced in music videos for some of the biggest pop songs released between 2006 and 2008, like Cat DeLuna's Wine Up, Usher's Love in This Club, Chris Brown's Forever, and Neo's Miss Independent. Danielle landed her first acting role in the 2008 dance film Step Up to the Streets playing the role of Missy Serrano. Hi! How's it going? Good. So how'd you get involved with the film? How did I get involved? I went to the audition as a dancer, just dancing, trying to get a job out in New York, you know, kids are broke. And then this lovely man saw me, John, John Chu, and uh, he saw me dance, and then after that, I read lines, and out of nowhere, he loved me. So he said once he saw me, he uh, just put me back in the film because my character was taken out and then he put me back in when he saw me read lines. So I was like, oh, that's nice. So he saw me and saw something, you know what I mean? Something different, something hot, and let me stop. So that's why I'm here and that's why I was involved and it made the movie better. Let me stop. <laughs> A year later, she joined the revival of West Side Story on Broadway, playing the role of Consuela. She also joined Madonna's Sticky and Sweet tour. In the early 2010s, Danielle worked with Lady Gaga for music videos and performances of her singles Born This Way and Judas. Just a party for, baby, 
She not only danced with, but also choreographed routine for both Beyonce and J Lo. She worked with Beyonce for her Run the World and Countdown routines, and also choreographed the seductive routine for the singer's partition music video. <laughs> I'm trying to get her back into shape, starting small, little baby steps. And then probably reviewing some choreography at the end, stretching her out, just getting back into motion because she hasn't been working out in like I don't know how long. That'd be cute for the boys in the moment. Just don't hold the, don't record right? Oh, I gotta sing this song. Oh no. <laughs> People started speculating that her working relationship with Beyonce ended after she took to Facebook to criticize the singer's Lemonade film. She said, I like Beyonce, but people act like the seas parted ways. I just saw some of the hour long video and I just can't finish. Frankly, I don't have time. Two minutes in when she opened the door and water came out, I instantly thought of Jumanji. I think anything she does, people get so caught up with who she is that they can't even see the work for what it is. I think she's talented and yes, I have mad love for her, but I don't see it at all. Anything is artistic nowadays. Give me a break. Hashtag my opinion matters. Danielle immediately started getting backlash from the beehive once they caught wind of it. She responded by tweeting, some of you bee fans are cray. Just because I don't see this last project doesn't change how I feel about her talent. Get a fucking grip. One fan responded by saying, you were straight up disrespectful. There's nothing wrong with opinions, but the malicious shit you said reeked of bitterness. How the fuck can you have an opinion on an hour long project you watch for two minutes? Go duck walk your trifling ass off a bridge. Things got uglier when one of Beyonce's professional background singers responded by saying, okay, wait, how do you post on your page how you don't like someone, not going to support their project, how overrated they are, etc. Then hit me up less than two hours later asking about tickets to see them in concert. Ha ha ha, hashtag nah, hashtag stay miserable, hashtag if I had them, you still wouldn't get them. And Danielle Polanco, I see you kikiing in the comments. I don't know what you kikiing about, bitch. You ain't nobody's Rosie Perez. You ain't nobody's Paula Abdul, okay? You rude bitch. That's why the girls don't want to work with you. Because you a rude Spanish bitch. You know the Spanish girls think they know better than everybody. They think better than the black girls. <laughs> yeah, right, girl. That's why Beyonce dropped you. She said drop. <laughs> But that's neither here nor there. Danielle's impressive resume only continued to expand. She was approached by tons of luxury fashion houses and brands for artistic direction, coaching, and choreography for their ads, campaigns, and commercials. Some of those companies include Agent Provocateur, Stuart Weitzman, Louis Vuitton, Calvin Klein, Coach, Moschino, Vogue, MAC Cosmetics, and H&M. Then, in 2017, Danielle became one of the choreographers of the ballroom scenes for the American drama television series Pose, alongside Laomi Maldonado. Most recently, she appeared in Bruno Mars's finesse music video, as well as Janet Jackson's Made For Now music video. But yeah, guys, I was just re-watching the video I did on Big Les, and I decided to highlight Danielle. I will definitely be making more videos about dancers in the future. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, like this video, and subscribe to Black Femininity TV for more content.